Mountain Lion roars onto Max, and a Netflix challenger steps into the ring. I'm Jeff Bacalar, filling in for Bridget Carey, and this is your CNET Update. Mac users can now upgrade their operating systems to version 10.8, and our official CNET review praises Mountain Lion for its cloud functionality and useful updates to some core apps. However, a lackluster game center and a dictation feature that requires an internet connection are a bit disappointing. So should you upgrade? Well, if for more than $20, we'd probably say no, but the price for this update is just right. Apple also announced its Q3 earnings, and while iPad sales soared, a drop in iPhone consumption caused the company to fall short of growth expectations. You can probably chalk that up to the fact that everyone knows an iPhone 5 is on the horizon, but then again, here we are feeling bad for a company that's reporting 23% year-over-year growth. Netflix is about to have another competitor later this year. Redbox is teaming up with Verizon and going by the name Redbox Instant by Verizon. Yes, they can do better on that name. It'll be a hybrid service offering movies for streaming and downloading in addition to Redbox's already 36,800 kiosks. Still, a lot is up in the air about how much the service will be, what studios have signed on, and last of all, it's going to be really tough for Redbox to make a dent on Netflix's market share. Things just keep getting worse for Nintendo these days. E3 left most gamers unimpressed with the company's outlook, and now Nintendo is reporting nearly a 10% decrease in revenue year over year. All this is on the heels of the update to the 3DS, the 3DS XL, that will be released in August. But we're not sure that bigger screen is enough to entice new customers, though, because people won't buy portable consoles unless there are great games to play. Up until now, the 3DS has only offered a handful of must-own titles, and of course the exploding mobile games market and other competition isn't helping either. And finally, JCPenney's CEO Ron Johnson announced that the retailer will switch to an all-RFID sticker platform next year, allowing for mobile checkout from anywhere within the store. This plays into the company's efforts to use new technology to improve customers' overall shopping experience. And hey, if it stops me from having to wait in line while somebody writes a check for a pair of socks, I'm a happy man. This has been your update for what's going on in the tech world today. For more on the stories from our show, visit CNET.com slash update. Don't forget to follow me on Twitter. I'm at Jeff Bacalar. From our CNET TV studios in New York, I'm Jeff Bacalar.